video is about hidden extras that you might not be aware of as a house painter. And uh, nobody's going to tell you about them uh, if you don't know already. Uh, if you've been painting plots for a, a number of years, you probably know about these things and come across them on a day-to-day -day basis, but probably not aware of certain things that you can try and, and book in uh, extra hours and get extra money. Before I, before I start and show you some hidden extras in a new build plot, because th that's what this video is about, there's some other things that you probably need to be aware of. Um, on a firm X amount of months ago, and uh, one of the things is extra money for weekend work. And I were working on this particular firm, and these guys didn't know anything about it, and the work every bloody weekend there was going. And uh, one of them said to me, he said to me, are you working the weekend? I said, well, is there any, any extra for it? He goes, well, I don't know anything about that. So I said to him, like, I said, well, there's always extra money for the weekend if the site wants you to come in urgent to like get a plot going. So, so basically, if you're asked to go in at the weekend, always ask your boss. Is there any extra for it? Now it's normally £50 a day. So if you work Saturday and Sunday, it's an extra 100 quid. And this is normally okay between your boss uh, and the site that wants you to come in and work the weekend on your particular plot. Now if you're one of these guys that continuously work weekends without bothering to see if there's any extra, or you're just working weekends for your own benefit and, and that gets spotted by the agent, you're probably unlikely to get that extra 50 quid a day. But just bear in mind, if they say, oh, we need you in this weekend, say, is there any extra? And nine times out of 10, they'll say, oh, we'll check on it and we'll let you know later. So bear that in mind, if you're working weekends and want you to come in, there's normally 50 quid extra. So I'm in this particular plot and there's numerous amounts of things that class as an extra. One of them is um, a customer's extra that's been put into the plot that might cause you a problem or might slow you down from your normal routine of painting, right? Another one is something that's not complete before you are asked to go in and paint that plot, right? So that, that, that type of extra will probably come in at a later date when it gets finished and it'll be classed as an extra on the snack. So bear that in mind. Now then, when it comes to these hidden extras in plots where you yourself can actually manage to rate together a few extra hours with the okay of your, your boss, your employer, right? There's a couple of things to remember. Number one, it might be a, there's a couple of ways you can go about it. If you've got an understanding box where you can write down these extras on your invoice, put down the hours that you think is appropriate for it, um, and then just book it in, there's that way of doing it. The other way is you've either got to make your boss aware of these extras before you start doing them. Or you might have to go to the site agent and say, look, this is in the plot. Uh, are you going to give me, you know, are you going to give me an hour for doing it because it's, it's inconvenience or um, something's been fitted, it shouldn't have been fitted at that stage. You know, are you going to give me a couple of hours for it? So there's a couple of ways to go about it. And always remember that. Take some pictures. of these things that you might consider as an extra. 
and add on to you your invoice when you email your boss so that you've got proof. You don't need to keep these pictures on your phone forever in a day. Um, there might be a particular thing like a, a, a wall's been plastered, right? Halfway through you painting it, and you're going to say, "Well, I, I need some extra extra money for that because I it should have been done." So take a photograph of it. And when you invoice your boss and you write down an extra hour, extra hour, um, he can see what you're talking about. A lot of gaffers sometimes say, don't do any extras unless you get a VO, which is like an order uh, off the site agent before you do it. So be careful of that. I'm just on that particular phone where I don't need to go and get like um, signed VOs off, off the agent to say I'm going to do something as an extra. I don't need to do that. My gaffer actually, I'll put in all these extras and he'll, he'll go and sort it out himself. And don't get in the habit of going and getting VOs off the side table for every little extra you do. Because once you start doing that, your boss is going to want that all the time. Leave it up to your boss or your manager to sort time sheets out or VOs uh, because that's their job. It's not your, not your job to, uh, to sort them particular things out. So let me just show you around this particular plot uh, some of the things I would class as an extra and some of the things that uh, might be classed as an extra when you, if you have to come back and snag that plot. Here's what we call an optional extra, a customer's extra, right? See all these spotlights? Well, it's a bit dark, but can you see? I'm in this four bed plot. I mean, you've already got the normal light, so if you're painting the plot, <coughs> all you would normally have to paint around is those lights. So all these have been put in as an extra. I mean, a four bedroom plot, right, in every room, it's got four spotlights. Every single room, upstairs and downstairs, yeah? Uh, none in there. Look. Six in here. No, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten spotlights in the kitchen. None in the utility. Right, now then, I've had to pull all those down and cutting round every single one. Look, these bloody hundreds of them. Look them all. Now that, as far as I'm concerned, is an extra, isn't it? There's a lot more work in, in the plot because I'm to pull them all down, put them all in. Normally it's just one light fitting. Right, so, that's an extra. Now, I've used my own judgment, and I'm gonna put two hours in that. Whatever my day rate is, divided by eight hours, I'm gonna put two hours in for that. Right, another thing. Depending what builder you're working for, all these frames in this plot have got these hinges on. Pre-finished doors got the hinges on, right? Now, luckily, I managed to get a site agent to take them all off, but he's forgot this one. But if I ask the site agent, all these hinges need to come off, not, they're not supposed to be on, right? And it doesn't get, they don't get took off. And I take them all off and put them in the box. I'll book an hour in for that. Running around for 12, 15, 20 minutes, taking them all off and lobbing them in the box. So that is an extra. These are all hidden extras that you're probably not aware of. You can actually gain money for these things. You've got to remember, spotlights, hinges. Right, what we've got here is fitted wardrobes, yeah? Before the plot's painted. Now all that's got to be painted. So, in this plot, you've got one wardrobe. Two wardrobes. 
three wars roads. Now you think how long that's going to take you to climb in there, cut all there and roll them. At least half an hour each. Now, so I'm going to book that in as an extra on my timesheet. And I'm going to book at, at least half an hour each. For three more days, I might book in two hours. So there's four hours. That's half a day's money, isn't it? Remember these things. Spotlights, fitted wardrobes, not supposed to be in your plot. Hinges on frames. And on this particular build-up, they're supposed to be taken off and they weren't taken off. Luckily, I've got someone else to take them off. But if I had to take them off myself, I'd want an hour for that. Here's the next drop. Right, plot's being painted now, nearly emulsioned, and as you can see, it's, it's not finished around this bathroom window. Now, I'll have this plot completely finished, right, and that will still be like that. Now, if I have to come back and snag this at a later point when that's been plastered, and I've got to re-emulsion that, right, that'll be classed as an extra. I'm, I'll book an hour in for that. Yeah, an extra on top of a snag. So bear that in mind as well. Anything like that that's not finished, it's their fault it's not finished because when you come in to paint a plot, it's supposed to be finished and it's not. So therefore, it's an extra. Book an hour. Right, guys, here's another thing. Now, I completely emulsioned the whole house and there were a couple of cells missing and come in and done them. Now, I have, I have, fin I have undercoated and, and put the finish on them, right? But they've got to be patched and they've all got to be touched up. Right, that's an extra. If you come back to snag the plot or somebody else comes back to snag it, all that touching up there when they've patched it, is extra because it wasn't done and it wasn't finished when you come in to paint the plot. So, there's, a, there's at least an hour for that. You get an hour for that, easy. Yeah? Fitted wardrobes. They're fitted on a base coat. There's extra for that. Because I've got cut, I've got, I've got to get in there, cut into all that woodwork. I've got to climb up there and do all that. That's extra. They shouldn't be fitted. They should not be fitted at this point. Well, at the point when I come in, they should be done after I finish painting. So that's an extra bathroom. You see all this? It's not finished. But I'll come into paper plot, that should be finished. That's an extra. Another hour there. Book an hour in for that. But you must write down. You must write down what it is and where it is. Extra, 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 more money. Here's another thing guys, front door needs painting on this plot outside yeah also you get these things don't you meter box and electric box now it's on the outside of a property so <clears throat> when you get your inside price from your gaffer yeah ask him is there, is there an outside price for the meter boxes in the front door because there should be a little bit extra for that because the price for the outside and the inside separately. So bear that in mind. Right then guys, there's just a few examples of extras that you can um, possibly get a bit of extra time for and bump up your wages. Um, oh, there's absolutely, there's loads more. For instance, like you come into a plot and off it's not based out. You know what I mean? Book some money off the base code. And don't be scared of, of writing these things down on your invoice because if it's something that's chargeable, 
to the actual builder. Uh, your your gaffer's going to love that, and, and he'll probably thank you for it because whatever you book in for your day work, hourly wise, he's going to have a higher rate, so he's actually going to make money out of that from from you you doing that. If you don't book in things like wardrobes and, and like, for instance, these spotlights and stuff, when you're painting the plot, he doesn't know about them, does he? And they, they are extras, so, you know, let's say you book two hours in, uh, uh, I'm just giving you an example, at uh, 20 quid an hour, he's probably gonna book you in at 30 quid an hour, so he's making money out of it, so don't be scared of, uh, of booking it in, because it, you, like I say, it, it'll probably be glad that you have, you have done it. So yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed content of that video. Thought I'd just like give a little bit back to you guys, considering uh, most of you uh, support me on a weekly basis uh, watching the videos. 6,000 subscribers plus, and uh, you know, I, I just wish I got 6,000 people watch each video. I've had that uh, beach party in Miami with Flash by now, well, you know what I mean? But they're not, so. Not to worry, but the, those of you that do support me on a weekly basis, nice one guys, much appreciated. And it, it, you know, it uh, gives you a bit of information, a bit of knowledge, and uh, good fun at the end of the day, isn't it? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. If you did, you know what to do. So, until next time, from the Candleman. Now here we go, Skipper is on the candlestick again. Hey, see how it's spinning around nicely compared to before. Look at that, baby. Oh, you, oh, you. Your turn is out there, eat your heart out. Yeah, I like it. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I like it already, mate. I like them grooves in it, all them steps, I like that. Beautiful, mate. Oh, come on, mate.